Hello, my name is Darren Anstey and I'm the Chief Security Technologist at Arbor Networks. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to be taking you through a quick demonstration of the new Arbor Spectrum solution so that you can really see how it can help security operations be both more effective and more efficient in what they do. Spectrum is a completely new solution from Arbor, introducing technologies and workflows designed to allow organizations to gain both the broad and deep visibility and the operational efficiencies that they need to combat today's threats. If you have any questions about anything that you see within this demonstration, please don't hesitate to contact me. My email address is shown at the bottom of this slide. Before we get started on the demonstration though, it is important to set the stage a little bit and it's important to appreciate that the whole Spectrum solution is designed to provide workflows that reduce the time security analysts take to carry out their core functions, allowing them to focus more of their time on what matters, reducing business risk. Spectrum allows analysts to investigate threats and traffic activity much more quickly and easily than with other solutions providing them with the ability to zoom, pivot and pan through vast quantities of data at the speed of thought, really giving the analyst the ability to follow hunches, find clues and investigate traffic patterns that might represent malicious behaviour and therefore a risk to the business. Spectrum also gives analysts access to the forensic information they need without them having to deploy complex, expensive, slow to use full packet capture solutions. Metadata for monitored communications is available within the user interface and full PCAP download for detected threats is just a button click away. And Spectrum allows analysts to find threats that might otherwise have been missed. Using both the unique threat indicators derived from Arbor's Atlas visibility and ACERT research delivered via the Atlas intelligence feed and also using the visualizations within the user interface that allow the identification of threat trends or patterns of activity over time that otherwise might have been missed. Fundamentally, Spectrum is a product designed to help security do a better job at reducing business risk. So let's take a look at the user interface and how the solution really works. This is the landing page for the Spectrum user interface, and for those of you who've seen or used Prevail Security Analytics, this will look very familiar. However, Spectrum is very different under the hood, and now comprises of three different modules. The hunting module, the host dossier module, and the connections module. And I'm going to be taking you through each of those modules during this demonstration. What we're seeing here is the hunting module, which is all about displaying threat indicator activity over time, and allowing the user to easily zoom, pan and search through that data. As you can see, I'm currently looking at a summary of activity over the last day, and the system has a range of different predefined time periods, or you can zoom yourself within the main visualization to pretty much any granularity you choose. Alternatively, the system also offers a live stream mode, where it will display a continuously updating view of the threats that are being detected in monitored packets or flow as they're received by the collectors within the Spectrum solution. This window in the middle of the screen here is what we call the main visualization, and everything else within the hunting module tracks what's displayed here. The tabular data at the bottom of the screen, for example, updates dynamically dependent upon what's seen within the main visualization. So as I zoom here, you'll see the statistics at the bottom of the screen change. The real power of the hunting module and of Spectrum as a whole, though, is in the speed with which I can navigate through data. If I turn off live stream and zoom out to looking at everything this system has seen since it was first installed, I'm now looking at two months worth of threat indicator data and I can zoom from this two month view down to an individual minute view in pretty much real time, simply by scrolling my mouse. And this ability to quickly change focus, explore data and view activity over time is very powerful and something which isn't possible in other solutions. I can also look at the data within the main visualization in a variety of ways. I can look at an overview of indicators broken out by high, medium and low priority. I can look at indicators broken out by source IP address by destination IP address or by indicator type. And as you may have noticed, as I change the view within the main visualization, what's available within the table at the bottom of the screen also changes. So for indicators, I have an indicator list. I have new indicators that have never been seen within the network, within the time frame that's displayed within the main visualization. And I have the analysis tab, which I'll come on to later. 
If I switch to the source based view, again, you'll see that these options change. I now have source IPs, source by destination IPs. The main visualization is also fully interactive. So if I hover over any of these different colored bars, you'll see the IP address that this color represents pop up. From this pop up, I can also navigate to the other modules within the Spectrum solution. I could go to the host dossier to get a complete view of both traffic and threat indicator activity for this host. I could look at the connections module to get a detailed picture of connections to and from this particular host. Or I could opt to filter traffic to and from this host using any Prevail APS appliances that are integrated into this Spectrum solution. So the system is very good at allowing me to explore threat activity over time very quickly and easily so that as an analyst I can really see what's going on. And this represents a big change from many of the other solutions analysts are used to using today. But how do I really use this to detect threats of interest? Well, there are a number of different ways in which I can do that. So let's change our zoom to looking at um, one day granularity for um, today. So the first way in which I can identify threats of interest within the hunting module is by using the search tools. The search tools, as with everything else in Spectrum, are fully interactive. So, for example, the top items displayed here are dynamic and change as I alter what I'm looking at within the main visualization. But I can also use the text entry bar here to highlight anything that I might be interested in. So, for example, if I'm concerned about the Angler exploit kit, I can simply type that in here and any threats that match it will pop up, allow me to select them, and then I can restrict my view within the main visualization to just those threats. And I could do the same thing with IP addresses, ports and protocols. Second way in which I can identify threats of interest is by overlaying trending information onto the main visualization. I can add trend lines for new kinds of indicators, which are those that haven't been seen within this network before, new sources of threat indicator, new destinations of threat indicator. And these kinds of um, trends are very, very good at identifying shifts in activity within the network that might represent a risk to the business. And they're very, very useful when we're looking to hunt proactively. And the third way in which I can identify threats of interest within the system is by looking for threats that have been that have been discovered via the Atlas intelligence feed. The Atlas intelligence feed, as I'm sure you're all aware, is a high fidelity intelligence feed from Arba that allows Arba customers to pick up critical threats in their networks by leveraging ACERT research and the unique level of visibility that Arba has from its Atlas system. So as a user, if I see AIF rules firing on my network, this is something I should be really concerned about. In this particular case, I can see an AIF rule firing, and if I hover over it, I can see that this is in fact the PlugX modular backdoor. And if this was something I saw on my network, I would be very concerned. In order to investigate this though, what I really want to do is narrow my view and then pivot around the host involved to see what else is going on. And I can do that very quickly and very easily within the Spectrum user interface. So I've selected the threat here. I can now see the IP addresses involved in that. I can select one of those IP addresses, deselect my threat, and I can see if, if I switch to an indicator-based view that there are in fact multiple different threats being detected around that IP address in a cluster around a specific period of time. Now at this point as an analyst, I'd be very concerned. I can see multiple threats clustered around this host. What I really want to do now is understand more about what's going on here. And this is really what the analysis tab can be used for. The analysis tab gives me access to a decode for each detected threat very quickly and very easily without my needing to access another tool or use Wireshark. Here, for example, I'm seeing the use of a VSFTBT compromise from this host to another one on my network. And if I want to see a decode and ex um, of this and quickly establish what's been going on, I can do that simply by selecting the um, threat here. And then I can go down to look within each of the packets. And I can see that in this particular case, the smiley face has been used to trigger the back door within the compromised VSFTPD. And if I want to get a PCAP of the entire session, I can do that very quickly and easily simply by clicking on the download PCAP button. And there you see it being downloaded to my computer. 
So the solution has given me the ability to zoom and pivot through data from multiple weeks or months down to seeing decodes of individual threat indicators very quickly and easily. And this is pretty unique. But what I want now is to have a more detailed view of what my compromised host has been doing from both a traffic and a threat perspective. And this is where the host dossier module comes into play. And I can quickly navigate from the hunting module to the host dossier module by clicking this link. And here we are in the host dossier module, focused around the host I selected and the time period of the threat that I linked from. The host dossier allows me to see traffic in and out of the host that's in focus, and I can see where threat indicators map into that traffic. And if I open up the threat indicators here, I can get additional information about what's going on in terms of an overview of the threat type, top destination hosts, and things like that. At the bottom of the page, I have what's called a Sankey diagram, which shows me a graphical representation of the traffic into and out of the host that's in focus. On the left, we have a list of the hosts that our host um, has communicated with, and these are little colour bars next to them to indicate that there is a threat associated with that host. If I select one of these hosts on the left, I can see the traffic from that host to the host that's in focus, and I can get more detail by selecting various aspects of the Sankey diagram, traffic into the host, traffic out of the host, things like that. Now, in this particular case, the host that I've selected is the one that we saw the VSFTPD threat indicator for within the hunting module. And if I look at the traffic here, I can see a couple of different things going on. Firstly, I can see what looks like a scan, and then I can see my VSFTPD communication. The first of those may indicate some kind of internal recon, the second potentially some lateral movement. So as an analyst, what I'd want to do now is quickly pivot here to see what the other host on my network has been doing to see if there's anything suspicious going on there. And I can do that very quickly and easily simply by selecting that host and then going to change focus. And it happens that quickly. If I look at the traffic pattern here for this host, I can see a big spike in outbound traffic activity. And if I look at the Sankey diagram and I zoom in to looking at this particular host, I can see by drilling in to the diagram here that almost a gigabyte of data has been transferred. In a real world situation as an analyst, I'd be very concerned at this point as it looks like a lot of data has already left the building. And I can go further to look in more detail at this communication using the connections module. I do that simply by going here and then going to view connections. So let's start off this particular query. And while this query runs, let's take a minute to really recap on what we've seen so far. We found a threat within the hunting module, we've investigated it, and then we've followed it across our network. We've seen decodes, and we've done all of this very quickly and easily. We've pivoted from one host to another, again, very quickly and easily. And this is the power of the Spectrum solution. So our query is finished. If I drill down into that, we'll now see the two communications that made up that transfer to the host in Korea. So that really concludes this demonstration of Arbor's Spectrum solution. And I hope what you've seen here today really demonstrates how the solution can be used to identify threats that might otherwise have been missed and to really speed up the whole incident triage and investigative process, improving the efficiency of incident response. If you do have any questions about anything that I've demonstrated here today, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. My email address can be seen on the slide at the start of this presentation. Thank you very much for your time.